Okay, today we've come to see Mary up here in Bunda. As you have seen, this is her house. But earlier this week, as she told her, as she's been telling us now, she had a bit of a bit of a disaster happen here. This whole wall, this whole wall of her house here, as you can see, it's made of mud and stones and these wooden poles. But this whole wall here just collapsed. All the mud and everything fell out. Um, this whole side here, and she's going to have to basically. I don't know if she has to rebuild the whole house or if she just has to rebuild this, at least this corner of the wall. Um, but that's a major thing for her, so we've come up here to help her, to buy some extra beads from her to help her out with this problem. So Mary, you said this happened, there was a big, we had a big thunderstorm here yes. on Tuesday, right? On Tuesday. Even in our house it was very strong and the power went yes. out and it was windy, yes. lots of rain. So tell us what yes, happened. Uh, a lot of rain and even the roof was moved away. Might need to talk talk a little bit louder. It's yeah. noisy. Yeah. Uh, the, the roof was moved away by the wind. The roof was the roof came off with the wind. Come out really. With the wind wow. And all the rain was entering inside, and even the wall. Some of the muds were falling down. Even inside, muds were falling down. Wow. But with the children, I've sent the children to the neighbor. And they were survived from there. I was inside the house. Okay, that's that's good that you weren't in there. Wow. Oh. Simon, I thank you very much for your help. Because um, what you have helped me now, I'm going to buy new poles and make the house and renovate my house again. So next time when you come, I want you to see a change in me. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you, Mary. Thank Glad you. that uh, the Aggie's art, his Aggie, <laughs> yeah, has exactly. been able to help you like this. Yeah. We hope we can continue to help all of the ladies, yes. you know, in these situations, yes. you know, in, in your lives. Yes. So we're glad to be able to help you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're back here at Mary's place about a month later. This is her old place here. She's demolished the back half of it with a broken wall. And uh, she's going to repair this, this part of the house. But then she's also um, built a new place here on her land with two rooms. She's staying in this left-hand room at the moment. And she's planning to, uh, I think, finish this place here, the old place, and then have these places for her kids and also to rent. So it's really great to see her getting ahead here a bit. Let's go inside and see see the our ladies in this room here. Here they are. Mulimuti. <laughs> Thank you, Aggie. Thank you, Simon. Aggie's just been with Mary and she's the one who counts all the beads and organizes the money and organize the 17 Aggies Arts ladies. So yeah, I enjoy this work That's a lot and I thank God for giving me this. It's a ministry. I'm serving God through this because I'm not just buying from them and getting money, but I'm helping them even spiritually, even physically to meet their needs. So thank God very much for allowing me to do that too. And thank you guys over there for your prayers. That through those prayers I've seen what God, God is moving here in a mighty way. Thank you. My work today has been sitting out here. I've been watching these chickens here. They've been walking around. They've been drinking from this basin here. It's been interesting. I've been learning the life of the chickens. 